We're gonna have a quick look at the new balance changes in the public update preview. And there's also another fun thing that I'll show for those who haven't seen it yet. Actually, let's, let's start with that. This one, new public update, hidden feature, auto farm placement. I'll show you guys how this looks. For those who haven't seen this yet, essentially, you guys will know how, most, some of you will know how you play AOE 4, and you, the way you place farms there was just like, if you spam click on the same location, the farms will automatically spread around. Now you look what they can do in the public update preview. That's exactly how it was done in AOE 4. Apparently, they're playing with the idea of bringing that to AOE 2. So, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it personally. I think it's fine, honestly. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think Age of Empires is the skill of placing farms fast. I don't think that's necessarily something that should be like a problem that that gets made easier, but you know. I was also against like auto farming or automatically reseeding or uh, multi queue all that stuff in the past, just for the sake of I hate changes and oh it was gonna make the skill. Another phone panel just fell down. Uh, it's gonna lower the skill ceiling or you know uh, the more difficult the game is to play the higher the skill ceiling on paper but the more changes that make mundane tasks easy increases the amount of time you have to use and spend on things that should matter such as micro such as uh, decision making and army positioning all those things right when you're like placing a farm it's not a big deal drop that quickly and then you go back to the army, right? The army is what should be deciding the game overall and so forth. So I, I think it's fine personally. But yeah, let's see here. So, hey community, uh, we have a hot new content update in the poop poop. We will update these notes with a full list of bugs as we wrap this update up. But for now, here are the balance changes coming soon. So, bad elephants cost 10 food cheaper. Is that needed? They also make them faster. Not by a lot, but a little. Why? Like, if this is some attempt to make them more viable before Imperial Age, I don't think this is going to change anything. They're just 10 food cheaper. Like, you're not going to make them more in Castle Age because of this. And I personally think elephants, bad elephants, are already strong enough in Imperial Age. So I don't necessarily agree with this and I don't see the purpose of this, but okay. Let's see how this plays out. It's not, then again, it's not a massive change. Um, but yeah, heavy scorpion upgrade now, 800 food, 750 wood, so 100, 150 wood cheaper. Scorpions HP as well, another five, and then they get one melee armor as well. All small changes to scorpions. That will change nothing. <laughs> they still die to bomber cannons. Uh, which means they're still not viable. I mean, sure, there might be... They survive a bomber cannon shot now? It doesn't matter. Because there's a second bomber cannon shot coming. It doesn't matter if they survive a bomber cannon shot, in my opinion. I don't, I don't think it changes anything. Um, to me, this is only... Of course, there might be more people making it now. They're a little bit more tanky. Sure, but I, I still don't think this is a reliable unit. With the cost and the investment. Keep in mind, there's still 75 gold apiece. Yeah, the yeah. It's nice. I don't mind it. I don't think it's a bad. I don't, I don't have a problem with it. I don't think it's gonna make the scorpion suddenly like super viable. Watchtower line is now thirty-five wood, one twenty-five stone. This is exactly the number I uh, suggested when people were talking about that watchtowers should go back to like twenty-five wood. I wanted it to go to a middle ground of like maybe thirty-five, and that's exactly what they've done. So I'm happy with that. And we will see later that Sicilians should have dungeons as well changed or adjusted accordingly. So, uh, yeah. I think this is fine. Let's see how this plays out. I mostly think this is fine. I'm personally a guy that don't like towers in the gameplay. This could make them more viable, but yeah, let's see how it plays out. Cannon Galleons, projectile speed is faster, that's good. They're slow AF, so that's fine. Demo, uh, demolition ships are now affected by siege engineers, which is plus four to bonus versus buildings. 
which is cool. It means demos are more viable as maybe like sniping dogs or sniping casts along the shoreline, for example, right? So to me, I think this is completely fine. So Armenians lose ship rights. They were incredibly broken on bottom maps in general because of their the mix of their ships, their demos, Romans, and then of course their economy on land as well at the same time. So incredibly good on water. So losing ship rights is a good way to balance them out where they will still be very strong early game, but they might drop off a little bit as the game goes on. So let's see if that's that has any serious impact. So Bengalis changes. Loose Parthian tactics. And in exchange, Ratha armor is increased. So regular Ratha will have three melee armor, two Pyrrhus armor, and Elite will have three and three. Three melee armor, that's two more than knights. They have the same uh, ranged spears armor as knights. And then the ranged Ratha bonus against spears has been changed to one and then plus two for elite Ratha. It's gonna make them pretty decent against Halbs then in the in the Imperial Age as a ranged unit. However, Ratha will never be fixed and never fun to play until they add a melee hotkey and a ranged hotkey for the Ratha. No matter what they do with Ratha, Unless they change that, it's a no-go. So essentially, part and tactics, they get part and tactics for free for their Ratha, is what I'm understanding here. But yeah, like I'm saying, unless there's a hotkey for melee mode and hotkey for ranged mode, instead of this super annoying toggling, where like you'll have like four units that are ranged, seven that are melee, and like you're trying to figure out, are they melee, are they ranged? And you keep toggling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Super annoying. Give us melee mode or ranged mode with a hotkey, and I'm happy. And then Ratha will be super fun to play. Until then, I don't care. But they'll probably find change. <laughs> Berbers gain ship right now. This is something that is very interesting to me. Berbers have speed bonus on their ships, right? Speed on any unit is crazily powerful. And when you suddenly give Berbers ship right, which was their, like, their weak point in water maps, where they fall off in the late game, because it's just too expensive. I think Berbers might climb the ranks as a Water sieve, very, very high. The amount of out microing you can do in both Feudal and Castle Age now, I think we're going to see Berbers played in a lot of tournaments and picked on water maps a lot more. They might arguably be like a top top two, top three sieve even with this change. Maybe even the best sieve. So let's see. Bulgarians. So Connect train time is now 19 seconds or 16 seconds rather. So three seconds. Uh, Faster production of Conic, which is fine. Bulgarians need some changes to buff their Conic a little bit. Conic are insane when they get rolling in the right circumstances, but the circumstances are few and far between, so this is fine. Dropidians, wood steel has been decreased cost. 100 food cheaper and 50 gold cheaper. Not a massive change, but obviously when I've played infantry with Dropidians, I do feel like wood steel has been quite expensive. It is a really crazy upgrade though, so um, I think it's still, it still should be costly, and it still is costly. But still, yeah, that's fine. Huns no longer start with houses in Empire Wars. No minus 100 wood penalty. Are they preparing for Red Bull Vololo? El Reynado? Yeah, obviously not a big deal. So essentially, they have 100 wood extra. I wonder if that will stick or if Red Bull Vololo will keep changes. Malay, Battle Elephant's discount has been made 25 to 35% as a reaction to this. Because if they had the discount and a cheaper base elephant, it would have been way, way too strong for Malay. I'm not sure exactly how much this makes it, so it's 5% less either way. I guess they're, this is a buff then for the other, the other elephant sieves. Mongols, light cannon step lancers, plus 30 HP has been changed to tw plus 20% HP in cast legend and 30% in imp. So yeah, lancers for and light cannon for Mongols slightly nerfed in the cast age, essentially. They are the same in Imperial Age. We'll see more cast elephants overall. I disagree. I think they're still too expensive to make. But yeah, this is a good change. Um, Mongols lancers were insane in the cast age. I think this is fine. Especially early castle they have like a crazy good timing. This is probably a good change. Castles built 50% faster. To fortifications built 50% faster. 
dungeon build time has been increased, probably just to go along with this. And then dungeon cost has gone from 75 wood to 50 wood to follow along with the watchtower discount. This, uh, this is a solid buff for Sicilians though. So they'll build dungeons slightly faster and dungeons are cheaper. Uh, it build it affects walls as well. Ooh. Hmm. This is interesting. I'm not sure how it, this is gonna play out. I guess the ceilings will still remain a pretty bad sieve, but you can make dungeons slightly easier now. 25 wood. Like 75 wood is such a big investment in the early game. So this is uh, helps a little bit. Not a big deal though. And yeah, that looks like it. So okay, I think most of these are fine changes. I don't necessarily agree with the bad elephant change. Fourteen upgrades are fine. And I'm still just I don't know how long I've been begging for the Ratha change that I mentioned earlier. This is one I'm very interested to see how it plays out on water maps. I think everything else is fine. All right, uh, not not a massive amount of changes, but still small. But this is what I want them to do, right? I don't want to have like huge patches that changes the whole game. I want to have small adjustments to things that are maybe OP and things that are um, things that need addressing in some way or another. And they also added auto farm placement like A4. Yeah, we watched that earlier. You can look at it again just to show if there was anyone that missed, missed that. Essentially, we have this now, where you place a farm, you can just hold your mouse in one spot and click, 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 and the farms will naturally spread around that location and find a position by themselves. You see here? He's holding shift and he's just clicking farms on the same spot, and they spread out next to it by themselves. This is how it was done in AWA 4, and I didn't mind it. I was like, personally, again, I don't think this is a big problem that this comes to AWA 2. If it comes. It's in the public update preview now. It doesn't mean it's going to go through. But if it does, let's see what kind of bugs it introduces.